Former Kiambu County Governor William Kabogo has called on President Uhuru Kenyatta to prioritize the war on corruption as part of his legacy alongside the Big Four development agenda. Elsewhere, the border operators in Thika Town have petitioned the police to crack down on rogue buses, especially those operated by Kenya Mpia, which they say have caused countless road carnages in the region. We start in Thika Town where border border operators have petitioned the police to crack down on rogue public service vehicles operated by Kenya Mpia bus firm. The operators spoke in Thika Town after a procession with the remains of their colleague, 23-year-old Daniel Muigai, who was knocked down and killed by a Kenya Mpia bus on Monday last week. <laughs> Ni sacrifice waka wana toa. Kwa sababu kukira ya nivigumu zana usikie. Mweze ama miasibiri imeisa. Kabula, kama hakuja kwa hukwa na mtu na Kenya mpia. Na muomba, gari zenyu upelekeni pole pole. Wacha kuona, ati wewe derefa, ni wewe unajua kuendesa gari kukira derefa ule mwingine. Apana, gari yako endesa pole pole. Still in Kiambu County, former Kiambu Governor William Kabogo has urged the head of state to ensure that those culpable of graft charges face the full force of the law. Speaking at the burial ceremony of a businessman, Peter Ngoru, at St. Francis Assisi Catholic Church, Kabogo said it was shameful that a few people are enriching themselves from funds meant to curb the spread of COVID-19. <laughs> And a section of traders in Naivasha are accusing the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, NCIC, of laxity in addressing cases of hate speech among politicians in the country. As much as we are doing politics, I think Africa, we are born and we know that uh, we deserve to respect our forefathers, our parents, and in that regard, on behalf of Nakuru County and Moso Naivasha, we feel that we take that ex with a lot of exception and we say, we tell them that they need to des desist from using, from drying the name of the mother of the nation. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kenya Tea Development Agency KTDA directors drawn from Zone 8 in Kericho County have opposed tea regulations proposed by Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya. Led by Litein Tea Factory Director Richard To, the director said the regulations do not address key issues, which include heavy taxation on the sector, tea prices, and subsidizing fertilizers. The CS should instead take time to understand the ownership structure of the subsector before purporting to fix it. And lastly, Kathiani Member of Parliament, Robin Boy, is accusing a section of politicians and top civil servants of setting bad examples by flouting the COVID-19 prevention protocols through political gatherings. He was speaking when he inspected CDF projects in his constituency. Kama corona imekwisha, tuambiwe, turudisha watoto wetu wapi? Shule. Tuambiwe, tuanza kuingia kanisa sisi wote. Tutuwa mambo ya kupima temperature. Tutuwa mambo ya kufanya hiyo hiyo sanitizing. Tuwache mambo ya kuesabu watu wakiingia kwa kanisa. Turudi kwa shere zetu na sare zetu.